Oh, I know Blue Pin. I think yeah, they're a Korean player. They're a they're a widely known player in the Korean community. Glaive of the Guard. That's an unrand. That's a really good weapon. Um, I'm not gonna buy that. It's expensive as hell. Jeez. Oh, Webzook is down. Yeah, it sometimes randomly goes down. You can click on it a little bit later and it might work. Oh yeah, you wanted the numbers. Um, there's a good graph for this if you want to see it. But the way players tend to do this is they just they feel it out over many games. Like, oh, what's going to happen here? So the EV entry has a lot of details about the way of mechanics, but there's a nice graph, I think, in the last entry. There you go. That's it. That shows you what the success, what the hit chance is, given what EV, given what monster HD. And the thing to know about monsters hitting you is that monster accuracy is basically influenced by HD, which is like their, you know, hit dice taken, taken again from Dungeons and Dragons. That same terminology. It goes up to 30. It's basically like their internal level, and it's not exposed to the player, but most really more dangerous monsters have HD that's like closer to 20, or Orbs of Fire have, um, I think they've got 30, and Ancient Liches have 27. That might be the reverse. But monster melee accuracy is strongly influenced by their hit dice, and also if they happen to be wielding a weapon, they get they'll get accuracy properties for their main attack from that weapon. So they might get an accuracy bon uh, malice from using a giant spike club. That's why ogres, they have relatively low HD, but they have this weapon with poor accuracy. Ranged, um, well, ranged Spell power for monsters is also based on hit dice, and accuracy for player and monster spells is also based on the spell power. So it also applies to it also applies to their ranged attacks. It's just that the that I think that graph is looking only at melee. I don't know if that has a graph for spells. The problem with spells is that. Um, there's a different spell power formula, I think, for each spell. And then there's launchers as well. I don't know if that graph has any ranged. Oh yeah, there are monster flags like Fighter, Archer, Master Archer, that give them a bonus. So some monsters are especially bad. I think that graph does show the flag for, for Fighter, though, so you can see the difference. Yeah, there's four graphs based on... Oh, nice. So there's ranged. That's good. Yeah, that ranged would be launcher. For spells, um, I, it might follow the same basic graph. Uh, explosion spells, they never miss. So if it's like fireball, it always hits you. And obviously if it's a smite targeted spell like smite, it doesn't it doesn't have a evasion roll. Some things just don't check EV or, or SH. And uh, those same things will typically check AC. Not all of them, like smite does not check AC. Torment, um, damnation doesn't check AC. But that's one of the reasons why AC is generally better than EV, because things that don't even bother checking EV or SH will still check your AC and get damage reduced by your AC. All right, Glaive of Guard. We are not going to buy Glaive of Guard. Yeah, Shadow Mimic. Yeah, Dith is pretty good for ranged characters. It's another strong god to consider if you're going to go ranged. Pair of gloves. Malahesh. You can see how like those graphs are kind of linear for um, they're kind of linear for lower HD stuff and more curved for higher HD stuff in terms of EV. 
So your EV has a bit of a fall off, like in the, by the time you get to the mid 30s in EV, each point of EV is really kind of doing less for you because you're pro if you have that much EV, you're at the end of the game and you're fighting stuff with higher HD and EV has a fall off in effectiveness. So people kind of stop getting too much more EV like between mid 30s and 40s. At that point, you would really do better by just getting trying to get some AC if you want to incre increase your defenses. Bunch of math nerd talk up in here. Yeah, it depends on the HD of the monster. Just keep in mind that the stuff that you're fighting at at the time when you get 30 EV. Um, you see, I have almost 30 EV right now, so. 30 is not that high, but if you get to like 40, you're probably relatively close to end game. So you're fighting stuff with minimum HD of maybe, I don't know, 15. The things that you actually care about have pretty, like Vault Wardens and stuff, they have, they have some significant HD. Yeah, 30-30 is like a phrase you'll hear people talk about a lot. Like if you get 30, some, of, some is 60 is a rough guideline. That gets thrown out a bunch. So 30 AC, 30 EV, that's a more hybrid style where you have actually quite good evasion and you probably have lighter armor. Maybe those dragon scales Reels mentioned. Um, if you have something much more like 40, 20 or 50, 20, you know, tons of AC, you're probably in gold dragon scales or, or maybe just good plate and uh, you're probably not casting too many spells. Yeah, GDR is an extra, guaranteed damage reduction is an extra thing that only happens when you are hit with a melee attack. And it has its own rule. It basically just makes AC better strictly for taking a melee attack. It does not apply to any form of ranged attack from spells, from launchers. It doesn't apply to any special spell uh, of any kind. It is only a melee attack. So that's another thing that's easy to forget about GDR. But you really don't got to think about GDR too much because um, if you have more GDR from your armor, you have better AC from your armor. So you really can just think in terms of, I'm increasing my AC. And um, typically, if you're doing it through armor, you're also inc increasing your GDR. So GDR differences really don't come into play too, too much. If a dude does 20 damage, yeah, AC is a just a 1d20 and on a basic level. Um, but you're, if if the monster has a, a damage 20 attack, they're also doing a damage roll for that. So they're doing a 1d20 if it's a damage 20. If you mean they actually roll for 20 damage, then yeah, the AC gets a roll and it reduces. So it can it can roll basically zero and you can reduce nothing. Oh man, okay. Um, where are we going? What do I need to buy? I'm all discombobulated. I've got my Arc Magi robe. I was like, I've got to check my skills to see what I'll train, but I can stare at this screen. I just can't do anything about it. Yeah, some monsters are obviously super extreme. Juggernauts are one of the most extreme melee monsters that are in the game, but they have a thing where you can just like summon butterflies. They punch the butterflies and they sit there for like three turns while you hit them and then you back behind a butterfly and they punch the butterfly again. Yeah, it's, it's mostly done by feel. Most people don't. Uh, if you want to know, go into wizard mode and you can use the flight sim to uh, check 
the average effective damage of yourself and of your defense versus any monster with your current equipment. So if you really want to know, ch check out wizard mode. It'll show you how much monsters say the ogre does to you. Damage per aught is what it's looking at. Uh, you know, it's effective because it's incorporating monster accuracy, you're dodging. It gives you stats for the damage values and then it gives you the final average damage per aught for, for both attacking and defending. Um, all right, so we got Swamp, that's where we will go next. We've got our Poison, we've got all the MR in the universe, we've got our C. Spells. What do I want? Do I have any conj? Got drain. Drain is really good. Book of the sky. Conjure Paul Lightning. That's a really powerful spell. It's a little bit too tough for me to cast because I don't have on my wizardry anymore. Can I memorize it? Ooh, infest. Yeah, they're not going to be casting that for a while. Oh, everyone's favorite lightning spire. I have our luck, right? I have a wizardry staff. So, do I have amnesia? We're going to set this to... I can't unmemorize any of these spells. I need more scrolls. We have an L spell. Weird. I wonder why I didn't map it to L. Alrighty. So Conjure Ball Lightning is a scary spell to use. I don't really need to carry around Staff of Fire as my main thing. I probably can cast. Yes, I can. So this is this is a very very good damage spell. Um, I will not, I will be using it situationally. You have to use it very carefully. I do have our elect. That's really helpful. But yeah, we're ready to do Swamp. Oh, he escaped. I'm gonna kill him more than anything. Oh, I banished him, nice. I can roleplay like I'm uh, worshiping Lucy. Conjure Ball Lightning is a, is a very good spell, but it's also a very good way of killing yourself if you're not careful. You gotta be careful with that one. Oh, nice Teletrap. I'll be using Bolt of Drain quite a bit when I can. Oh yeah, I can't I can't cast BBC over deep water. Good old wild magic mutation. I wouldn't mind getting me some of that wild magic mutation. Free spell power. I think I'm gonna be using magical power. Dang! Yogi the Punk. This is the new alt. That's funny. Yeah, that's uh, that's obviously a really good role. Clarity mutation is like is really fun for extended because you can use like crystal ball of energy, and mess around with that. Some people really hate using that ever, but oh man, this song. Where's White Hat?
Oh, really? It's just shadow. Can't berserk, Bog Body. You're undead. You're a mummy. Batman. In a world of darkness. In the swamp. Where there is no hope. Legends say a hero must come. From the night. Trying to make a DCSS Batman crossover. Batman shows up in the swamp fighting Hydras. <laughs> they have secrets. They have secrets. Don't run from the Lich. On the orb run. The uh, great toad, Tutu. Oh man, I don't even rem have his name mem memorized, but he was doing a DCSS run. Is it 224? I can never remember his, his full handle. But um, he's a, another RGL streamer, and he he was playing uh, Maibi with uh, Yogi tutoring him. And uh, he got his first win a while back. And on the orb run, on the orb run, he got banished by an ancient lich. And Yogi was like, "Oh no, Toad! Toad, no!" And Yogi or uh, Toad just runs into the vault. He got banished like Abyss Five. Runs into the vault, grabs the rune, and escapes. Yogi's like, "What the heck?" And then on the orb run. I think somewhere in Zod he had a lich. No, it was probably in Dungeon or something like that. I can't remember. It was an orb spawn lich. And uh, Toad saw it and treated it like it was like a, a red devil chasing him or something. You know how you'll get like demons summoned from the orb and you're just like, whatever. And you just start running and you ignore it. But he was doing that with the lich and it was like hitting him with like bolts of drain and trying to fire orbs of destruction and all this other crap. Eventually, he, when he was like down to like 40% HP, he finally turned around and killed it. But he like let the thing chase him for like two floors so we were joking about that it was a very it was a very classical my be don't don't pay attention to stuff unless it's about to kill you oh man what is this I don't even know my own playlist oh yeah this is a. I like this remix because it really does sound like Mega Man aerobic music, like a workout music. These little bastards. These guys are surprising. They will. They do a lot of damage. Nice. Wow. It, that's so weird. The constriction continued on the Hornet. Pretty sh escape. Yeah, no, it copied the enchantment. That's funny. It should. It probably should not do that. Oh, rune buckler though. I probably can wear the shield, but we'll take a rune buckler, sure. Just plus two. Oh well. Yeah, Thorn Hunters are, they're, they're kind of scary. They do pretty terrifying damage. The, um, I almost lost my OPEC because I set up a fight kind of stupidly in the, in Zod. Cursed Toes were involved and they were like at edge of Los and I just sort of set up the fight stupidly and I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a Torment. I'll just self banish. And so I self banish and I arrive in the Abyss with relatively low HP, like 30 something. I'm like, it's fine, I'll rest. 
and some monster popped into view. I think it was just a star spawn, nothing like too horrifying, but instead of like moving out into like a safe enclosed area to rest, I decided to move up and around a corner and then bam, instantly got shot to like 10 HP by a, or it might have been 6 HP, but it was very little HP by a thorn hunter that was in the abyss for some reason. And I don't recall ever banishing one. I almost lost the run in the abyss to a thorn hunter, which would have been pretty bad. I would have immediately removed thorn, thorn hunters from the game. So if you want a monster removed, just try to get me to die to it. Well, speaking of thorn hunters, here we go. You can uh, you can enslave you can use uh, hexes on these things if you use a bone scroll first. But there's not really a need. Oh, he's not interested. Oh, nice. Okay, so he's constricted now. I will kind of throw in some extra damage. Don't have a lot of ice blast. Oh, I can lamp a fire him, which probably won't hit. Yeah, no. He's probably even standing in water. Oh, he's not. Oh well. He's gonna die anyhow. Yeah, they hit. They hit pretty hard. They were originally a brand. Uh, forest branch monster they were designed for the forest branch which was supposed to alternate with crypt but then we scrapped that and we moved them to swamp mostly unmodified really i think we did a very slight nerf to their like melee damage or something all the layer branches started getting a lot harder when we started moving those forest monsters there and they're a lot nastier than they used to be shoals got made even harder with like satyrs and Water nymphs. Yeah, that's sort of a meme that comes up a lot. Like, oh, devs don't even play. I've heard like community members, even prominent ones, m say stuff like that in a way that's like really like, you know, come on, that's so stupid. Considering that Elliptic, the best player, crawl player of all time, seriously, like, there's nobody, I mean, nobody would say that. He, he's a terrible crawl player. He himself is a dev. It's really silly to say stuff like that. But um, I agree that like a lot of... It does seem like sometimes devs don't really play their own game to win it. They sort of just play it to have fun, maybe. And that can be kind of unfortunate in a game like this because um, those people who do try to play the game to win it get stuck playing a game that's got a really weird design because the person designing it is sort of like... I just want to add fun stuff and not think too hard about it. But yeah, we we do try to get people who... We don't really require developers to have like any particular competency at the game because ultimately you have to be able to write code and that's the most important thing. Just being good at the game isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to help anything, but um, for people doing design we kind of stress to them like... Uh, this is a really like a player oriented game in approach to its design so you really want to have a good understanding of it some people don't want to work on design and then that's totally fine you don't have to they just want to work on ui stuff yeah other devs who are good players uh, i mentioned elliptic who's just like the best scroll player but um uh, Amaloy has a channel, Alan Malloy, uh, you can find it. He streams, uh, or he has console playthroughs. So if you're a console player and like to, if you're a console player, you're probably already a pretty good crawl player because most console players have been playing for quite some time. We're going to go up here. Oh, wow. Those can berserk. How about that? It's like slimes can't berserk. Yes, they can. 
This is a little bit nasty. This guy poking me and the Hydras and all the other slime creatures. Those, uh... Yeah. I think uh, roguelikes... I mean, a lot of people really like roguelikes for the, like, um, emergent stuff where you do random crazy stuff. Like, that's more, a little bit more the NetHack philosophy, but that, that game has never, that style of game has never quite appealed to me as much. Hello. Hi. This is a nice level. Oh no, Yogi's found his sling. Oh good, I made, I made the, uh, the the um, vampire mosquito invisible that's helpful it sure is it's it is definitely something isn't it Oh, this is what you don't want right here. Oh, but I don't I have plus in biz. There we go. Yeah, slime creatures are weird. They're easy to hex, so you can always use fear. They don't see in viz. If you let them, if you let them um, build up into a giant slime creature. Just don't forget that you can use hexes. Tr obviously, try to avoid letting them get to that state in the first place. I don't think the file's going to help too much here, but. Nice. There we go. It's a good file. Yeah, this would be the ultimate ultimate weapon for a good Zom role-playing run. Basic combo is BVC and hit it with a ranged attack before it has a chance to break free. Another buckler. This is another thing you shouldn't do is Wear armor around unexplored areas like I just tried to do. Bad idea. I don't know how many of you have seen the um, the wet trout art that a uh, Korean artist made. They have this like meme of a Zom girl, which is like a rendition of Zom as this like uh, purple haired ponytail girl. And she's sort of like in this in this painting someone made, she's holding up a giant uh, a giant fish over her head in reference to that message that you used to get when you would when you would hit the prayer key under Zom while worshiping Zom, back when that key actually existed. <laughs> wow, ferocious dragon. And my jokes are better than that. Headed Hydra. So, because my defenses are good, I'm not like totally petrified by being next to an eight headed Hydra. This is one of the basic things you kind of learn if you set up a character in rope that has some decent defenses. Yeah, it's all over. Is that you can stand next to some relatively scary monsters and use spells on them a few times. But if your deep elf has 
12 EV and, you know, no fighting trained. I don't even have good fighting, but Nulls have uh, basic HP, so it's not as bad as a deep elf.